Have you ever wondered what happens after we die? It's a question that has haunted humanity for as long as we've been capable of pondering our own mortality. One of the most fascinating aspects of this existential mystery lies in the phenomenon known as near-death experiences, or NDEs for short. In the realm of the unknown, NDEs are a beacon of light, offering tantalizing glimpses into what might be waiting for us on the other side. They occur when someone is on the brink of death but is resuscitated or somehow manages to pull back from the precipice. These experiences are more common than you might think, with around 1 in 10 people reported to have had an NDE. Now, the nature of these NDEs can vary wildly from person to person. Some recount out-of-body experiences where they see their physical selves from an external perspective. Others report traveling through a dark tunnel towards a radiant light, while some find themselves in lush, beautiful landscapes not unlike earthly paradises. There are even accounts of people meeting deceased loved ones or encountering beings of profound wisdom and compassion. However, not all NDEs are blissful or reassuring. A small percentage are terrifying or distressing, filled with feelings of emptiness, isolation, or even malevolence. Whether comforting or frightening, these experiences often have a profound impact on the individuals who undergo them, leading to significant changes in their outlook on life and death. As you might imagine, NDEs have been the subject of extensive scientific study. Despite this, they remain largely unexplained, straddling the line between the physical and the metaphysical, the explainable and the inexplicable. It's a phenomena that has baffled scientists and intrigued the curious for ages, and we're about to dive right into it. So prepare yourself for a journey into the great beyond, as we explore the eerie, the comforting, the terrifying and the awe-inspiring aspects of near-death experiences. Contrary to popular belief, not all near-death experiences are peaceful. In fact, a significant number of people report having had terrifying encounters during these precarious moments. These aren't your typical tales of floating in a tranquil sea of light or experiencing an overwhelming sense of calm and unity. No, these are far from it. Imagine the stark terror of feeling utterly alone, adrift in an infinite void with no sense of direction or time. Some recount a horrifying sense of fear and dread, a feeling so intense it's as if every nerve in their body was on fire. Others speak of experiencing torment, an unending nightmare from which there is no escape. These distressing near-death experiences can be as varied as they are terrifying, yet they all share one common element, the stark, chilling fear that grips those who go through them. It's a stark contrast to the serene, tranquil experiences we often hear about. And it's a stark reminder that the realm of near-death experiences is as diverse as it is enigmatic. Did you know that near-death experiences share striking similarities, no matter where in the world they occur? This intriguing fact may surprise you, but it's true. Despite the vast array of cultural and religious differences that color our world, many who've had near-death experiences recount common elements that cross these boundaries. Imagine this, a person on the brink of death, their consciousness seemingly moving through a tunnel towards an all-encompassing bright light. This is a scenario that echoes in the stories of near-death survivors from all corners of the globe. From a suburban housewife in America to a nomadic tribesman in Africa, the narrative remains eerily consistent. These shared experiences aren't just limited to tunnels and lights, but often include feelings of peace, detachment from the physical body, and encounters with spiritual beings. It's as if these experiences tap into a universal human consciousness, or perhaps a shared reality beyond our typical understanding. This universal experience adds another layer of mystery to the phenomena. It's not just the experience itself that's fascinating, but also the profound impact it has on those who've had one. This is where our story takes an intriguing turn. Near-death experiences, or NDEs, often result in significant life changes that can be as intriguing as the experiences themselves. While every NDE is unique, many of those who have journeyed to the brink of death and back report similar shifts in their worldview. The transformation is often profound, sweeping across every aspect of their existence. The mundane suddenly takes on a new depth of meaning, and life in all its complexity becomes more precious. 
One of the most common changes reported is an increased empathy towards others. People who've had an NDE often describe an intensified sense of connection to those around them. They feel a deeper understanding of others' emotions and experiences, as if they've become more attuned to the collective human experience. This heightened empathy can lead to significant changes in relationships and social interactions, often for the better. Another compelling shift is a decreased fear of death. Those who've peered over the edge often find that the terror of the unknown is replaced with a sense of peace. They face the ultimate fear, and in doing so, they found a new perspective. Death is no longer a looming threat, but a natural part of life's journey. This shift can lead to a greater appreciation of life and a renewed sense of purpose. Many describe this renewed sense of purpose as a second chance. They're not just surviving, they're thriving, with a newfound appreciation for the beauty and intricacy of life. They often seek to make the most of this chance, pursuing passions they'd previously neglected, mending broken relationships, or contributing positively to their communities. The changes following an NDE are as varied as the individuals who experience them. But one thing is clear, these experiences can lead to profound transformations that ripple out, touching every aspect of a person's life. It's as if they've been given a second chance at life. The experience of nearing death seems to open a door to a deeper understanding of life itself, reshaping perspectives in ways that are as mysterious as they are profound. Despite advancements in science and technology, NDEs remain largely unexplained. At the frontier of human understanding, the enigma of near-death experiences or NDEs continues to baffle even the most brilliant of minds. Various theories have been proposed in an attempt to demystify these profound experiences. One such theory points to oxygen deprivation as a possible explanation. When the brain is starved of oxygen, it may begin to malfunction, potentially causing hallucinations that mirror the vivid and surreal experiences described in NDEs. However, not all individuals who experience oxygen deprivation report having NDEs, indicating that there may be more to the story. Then there are theories that argue NDEs are nothing more than hallucinations, perhaps induced by the brain's release of DMT, a naturally occurring psychedelic compound. Again, this theory falls short. Hallucinations tend to be chaotic and disjointed, whereas NDEs often follow a structured narrative that remains consistent across diverse cultures and societies. The dying brain theory suggests that as the brain shuts down, it may create a final, intense burst of activity, resulting in the profound experiences associated with NDEs. Yet this theory too has its limitations. Some individuals have reported NDEs during moments when they were not technically close to death, questioning the validity of the dying brain theory. But perhaps the most significant challenge facing these theories is their inability to account for the life-altering after-effects of NDEs. Many who have had these experiences report profound changes in their values, beliefs and attitudes towards life and death, changes that are far beyond what would be expected from mere hallucinations or brain malfunctions. While these theories offer some insight, they fail to fully explain the complex and profound nature of NDEs. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the human mind and consciousness, perhaps one day we will come closer to understanding the enigma of near-death experiences. Until then, NDEs remain a fascinating testament to the uncharted realms of human experience. So what do near-death experiences tell us about life and death? Throughout our journey today, we've delved deep into the enigmatic realm of near-death experiences, or NDEs, a phenomenon that continues to intrigue and confound us. We've heard chilling accounts of not all experiences being peaceful, a stark reminder that the threshold of death can be as varied as life itself. We've also witnessed the striking similarities across cultures and geographical boundaries, which challenge our understanding of how deeply our cultural and personal beliefs shape our perceptions. These experiences, echoing similar themes of out-of-body sensations, moving through tunnels and encounters with otherworldly beings hint at a universal human experience that transcends our individual differences. We've explored how NDEs can profoundly alter individuals' lives, leading to transformational changes in people's attitudes, values and beliefs. These shifts, often characterized by a newfound appreciation for life, 
a decreased fear of death and a deepened sense of spirituality underscore the profound impact of these experiences. We've also grappled with the fact that despite the leaps and bounds in scientific understanding, NDEs remain a mystery. Science struggles to provide clear explanations with theories ranging from altered brain states to the release of certain chemicals. Yet, none of these fully account for the depth and complexity of these experiences. In our quest for understanding, we must remember that NDEs, much like life itself, are deeply personal and subjective experiences. While they continue to challenge our perceptions of life and death, they also invite us to reflect, to question, and to remain open to the mysteries that lie beyond our current understanding. As we continue to explore this fascinating phenomenon, one thing is clear. The mystery of near-death experiences is far from solved. Our journey into the unknown continues, inviting us to marvel at the enigma that is human consciousness, at the threshold of life and death.